Hi, welcome to this video today, which is on the uh, 28th of April. It's Sunday. We're just going to be looking at an opportunity in the Forex markets today, which is shaping up right now, which is basically to go long of the US dollar. The dollar is getting ready to move higher on just about every other currency. Now, in terms of um, the dollar, it will go up quicker against some currencies than others. I'm going to go through uh, what I consider to be the best pairs to look out for in a moment when we go and look at some charts. I'm also going to go and look, sorry, at the logic behind this trade. The logic is simple, okay? However, the market is just not seeing um, a dollar bull trend coming. It's, you know, sentiment mostly bearish. You can look at my logic in a moment, decide if you agree. But uh, in terms of the dollar, uh, over the last few weeks, if you watch our YouTube videos, we've just been so heavily bullish. And the dollar has had a really good move to the upside in most of the pairs that we've selected to trade it long in. Uh, it's made headway in some other pairs, uh, not as much, but profitable. Okay, Dollar bull move is just going to start and it's going to last for weeks or months. Now, I'm not talking about day-to-day -day fluctuations. Okay. The bigger trend is going to be up in the dollar. It's already starting. So let's look at why it's starting, why it will continue, and the best pairs to look out for to trade. Right, we are going to go and look at the charts, but please do keep in mind when I'm giving my view. It is my view. As of right now, it can change in line with the market conditions. If you want all our trading techniques, our daily technical and sentiment analysis on 14 major forex pairs and get life access to our member center on the link beneath this video. Right, let's go and take a look at the opportunity. Right, just before we go and look at currency pairs, we just need to look at the big backdrop in financial markets, which means looking at the stock market, because this is uh, where our bullish stance comes from. If stocks go up, the dollar is going up. If they go down, the dollar is still going up. Let me explain the logic. Big rally up in stocks. It's a huge rally up to multi-year highs. Market has low volatility and low volume, so which isn't a healthy bull market, okay? They can break hard. Um, low volumes is a sign or a signal you could get a big break lower. That's bullish for the dollar, okay? Um, yeah, if we look at this big rally, it's against the backdrop of slowing global growth. Market's moving more on hope than anything else, just sentiment driven. It's become detached from the fundamentals. But it doesn't matter if it goes higher. The dollar will go higher anyway. Okay, I'll uh, come to the full logic of this in a moment. Uh, we're looking for stocks to chop sideways from here or have a significant correction. Significant correction is the best scenario for our bullish dollar view because the dollar will really soar if we get risk off. Um, in terms of it going up either way, whatever stocks do, just draw your attention to this view from Raoul Powell. Um, view on best currencies. Next hedge fund manager does a fantastic newsletter for hedge funds as well. And asked the best currencies to buy. He said buy the USD, that's it. Why? Well his view is this if stocks continue up, foreign money has to buy the stock, so it has to buy US dollars to get into the stock market. That's bullish for the dollar. And also money is coming in to the USD because it's got a, an interest rate advantage over other majors and a lot of the minor currencies as well. Some it doesn't. Uh, we're prepared to go long the dollar, even with the yield disadvantage. There's a reason for this, because all the currencies that we're going to do this in have got terrible fundamentals, too many speculators long, and they're all going to be cutting rates. OK, so dollar generally going up across the board. Um, stocks go down. Foreign money will enter the safety of the US bond market and the USD. Yeah, bond market, um, big safe haven uh, market, money will pour into it. It'll rotate from stocks, okay, so you won't see dollar selling, just go to the bond market, and money will come in from overseas to boost the dollar, because um, basically people will be buying bonds and buying the dollar as a safe haven. So the dollar just going up either way. Now the market's arguing against this, and yeah, this rally up here when stocks were going up, they're saying the dollar should go down. It hasn't, has it? Across the board, the dollar's gone up. So I like it that market sentiment doesn't 
you know, sort of go with this argument, just strengthens our bullish view. Um, just very quickly, the bond market, you can see it's been soft. But get risk off, it'll be off the top of the screen. Okay. Um, dollar index became very interested uh, in the dollar when we were looking at dollar index a little while back. It's just really, it's not something we trade. It's just like the dollar against a basket of currencies to give an overall idea of dollar strength or weakness. This sell off here, we did it on YouTube. This big red here, um, it occurred and the move down basically because people were saying, you know, the Federal Reserve, what they did was they said, we're not going to raise rates anymore. You know, rates are relatively high compared to other major currencies, but they said, we're not going to raise them anymore going forward. We're on hold. Market's saying that's bearish. It's out now bullish. The only reason the US is on hold is why? Because things are bad in the global economy, which means that, you know, Fed on hold, what are other major economies going to have to do? They're probably going to have to cut rates, which they will. So the dollar still has the yield advantage. Up she comes. Nice move. And um, we use this big sell-off to get into numerous currency pairs, which you'll see in a moment. But the dollar, um, you know, you'll see it when we go to our pairs. We've got really decent profits over the last few weeks. And we just feel that, yeah, not looking day to day, we're looking at the longer term picture. The dollar uh, is just going to have, you know, longer term, massive bull move to the upside. Now, what we're going to do is go and look at some pairs. And we're going to start with uh, some majors first of all. So let's go and take a look at them. All right. Uh, we're just going to look at uh, several pairs um, and ones we're really interested in. First one is Euro USD that has moved down on the dollar. Some of the pairs that we're going to look at have been fair, far bigger moves down on the dollar. Yeah, some plus ten percent, for example, already. More to come. But I, I really like this pair, even though it hasn't moved down that much yet, just simply because the risk is so low. Okay, in terms of selling it. Now, I've done a full video on Euro USD. Now uh, you can look that one up. It's the one before this one. I'm just going to cover it briefly here. Doesn't look that exciting, this chart. Yeah, relatively low volatility, but all the risks are to the downside. The euro is not going to be able to mount a significant rally, in our view. And here is where the interest rate really comes into play, because you've got the USD, of course, with a really good interest rate on it. Euro, negative rates. It will not be able to rally significantly um, because of that, in our view. And you can see every rally. Met by selling. That's big institutions just coming in and hitting it hard, and they'll do it again. On any rally, they'll hit it. Okay. Um, in terms of the dollar index chart, we saw we saw the other currencies push the dollar down. Here's the euro doing it. Goes through 114. We'll just sell back through 114. Down she comes. Okay. Uh, now, so far, you can see my levels, say 240 pips in profit. Plenty of downside 108, then 104. 50 okay so that is a long way on the downside okay and it can easily do it and if you look at the um bigger chart yeah we are going down okay not high volatility but things are so bad in eurozone that could uh, easily change pretty quickly so like this one just simply low risk in our view plenty of downside potential and you're picking up a nice carry as well so it's one that we are really interested in. Now, in terms of charting, and yeah, just for new viewers, we see my levels or the way I draw my charts, I'm not doing anything complicated at all. Okay. And I'll stress this that if you know the big fundamentals and sentiment behind the chart, you don't have to. Okay. You're not looking for every twist and turn in the market, they look easy to trade in hindsight. You're focusing on the bigger moves. That wouldn't bother us particularly. Okay, the bigger move we're after. And it does work because, yeah, we do give our levels every day. And too many traders focus on, you know, trying to hop in and out too much in our view or believing that every twist and turn matters and just getting too intricate and, you know, basically not focusing on the big picture. So we're focusing on the big picture. This one 
it looks a good one for us just check out our full video uh, in depth on this and you'll see the big fundamentals outside that interest rate differential just so bearish for the euro um the next one i really like is a a, a short and i think it's it's not yet done it um or, or confirmed the move is aussie dollar usd uh Aussie does move up here, very low volatility. Then into this level here, 72, I haven't drawn the line, but you can see it meets resistance, reverses, down it comes. And it's sitting above this double bottom here, um, which is just below the 70 level. You can see we tried to test it there. If this gets taken out, then the volatility will pick up to the downside. The US dollar, a bit of an advantage in yield, but we know Australian rates are probably gonna come down. Australia, terrible problems. I'm sure anyone in Australia watching this video would agree that um, things do not look good for the Aussie dollar, but it hasn't broken down yet. Sell it through this level. Stop only needs to be back here, let's say 71.50 where I've got mine. Um, and then she'll be off to the downside, and a lot of downside. Uh, I'll put 65 here, but I'm gonna probably extend that to 63. So 700 pips against 150 risk obviously you have to manage these trades as you go which we do um when we're doing our levels we very often take 50 percent profit out to reduce exposure etc but try and stay with the long-term trend and you'll see basically bigger trend is down she should target this cluster of candles down here which actually is yeah sorry i'm going to correct my levels it's uh 63. it looks really good aussie a pr proxy risk on currency can't rally now, even though the stock market is a multi-year high, so that's bearish. Okay, commodity currencies um, going down. I'm going to go to um, another commodity currency I like, look off, USD CAD. And this one, again for us, we're not really making much. Um, what have we got? We've got about 140 pips. But yeah, it's going to pick up traction to the upside of the dollar here. You've basically got um, crude oil very strong, and the dollar doesn't go down, and then she pops up. Uh, again, you know, the catch should benefit from risk on. It's not. It's going far lower. I've got 138 as my level. Um, that's on the weekly chart, but I might extend it. These are monthly charts I'm looking at here. Might ex extend it up a little bit further, actually, to 140 because it can easily get to 140 it could even go past that spike high certainly if you've got risk off yeah risk you've got risk on at the moment the dollar can still get to there easily uh so you have plenty of upside <laughs> potential uh another 500 pips on this one is on the cards and uh yeah the dollar uh i'll look at the new zealand dollar in a moment um just going up on the commodity currencies and there's a lot of pairs um that maybe traders don't look at, and we're going to look at a few of them now, where, yeah, the profit potential has been fantastic so far and could get even better, okay? So let's go uh, and look at some more dollar pairs. On the chart of USD CHF, another major, and this one has, you know, kind of correlated, uh, sorry, not correlated, it's similar to the euro in terms of the Swiss franc has got negative rates on it. And in terms of the chart, see the fall here uh, from the dollar index yeah the reversal we're looking to get long just like we were looking to get short in the euro we don't need much confirmation just this blue off to the upside just a few little reds in between 260 pips profit so far not too volatile though but going a lot higher 110 i've got on uh, my um, notes as a target i think it could get there um which is the better Euro USD or USD CHF. Well, both the Euro and the CHF are going lower for us. So I probably think the Euro's got the more downside potential from here on in, but both good trades. So let's say you couldn't decide, you could just get your risk allocation, split it between the two trades. Um, you won't get the best, you won't get the worst, okay? We very often do that. Uh, I like it. Uh, but yeah, probably favour the Euro uh, from here on in. But uh, both both good trades. Next one, um, USD knock. Uh, been interested in this one for a while. 
Here's the big sell-off coming on minimal confirmation again on the blue. Up, stopped out, try long again, stopped out, dilute our profit. Then we base into 850. Crude oil really strong. The dollar doesn't want to go significantly lower. That blue candle interests us. We'll come in on that blue. And then up she goes. That blue we saw was a reversal, making a new low and coming back up. Um, where are we going? We're certainly going up here. Uh, I'm going to extend this target to possibly 9, maybe even 10. Yeah, dollar could go that much higher. Uh, this pair has correlated a little bit with the euro. So, um, you yeah, know, the euro, if it goes down, will drag the knock. Uh, but also crude oil, uh, massive crude exporter. And we think, yeah, crude going down. So far higher than this one. So we're really interested in this one. Uh, next one, we're still interested in this one, despite the fact it being our best performer. It's USD try. Best performer in terms of percentage gains against our risk. And it's so volatile. 7%, 10% down on those two reds. 6% up, 3% red, 3% blue, then off to the upside. Um, we like this one. Why? Because it's just so volatile. You want volatile pairs. And what we like about it is on this one, you know, basically the lira holds the interest rate advantage, and yet it can't push the USD down. Stock markets are up, which should help the lira. The lira's just getting hurt. And I just feel that the lira... Um, I've got 6.20, then 6.40. But, yeah, if you look at the monthly chart, <coughs> sorry, uh, USD try, we're after. You've got a nice blue, look at it coming up here. Easily get to there. So 6.60 um, really. Then possibly even 7. Nothing good going on in Turkey. It's got a lot of problems. Uh, US dollar is already acting as a safe currency against the lira but just a small position that's all you need in a pair like this um just still uh very bullish of the usd despite we've had a great rise on it okay far more to come in our view usd mxn really interested in this one uh hasn't done exactly what we thought it would though there's the sell-off coming on the minimal confirmation again got a nice profit and came out then we tried again on that red. It took a loss, dilute our profit again. But want to get back in long, comes down here, bases, that candle we're coming on, comes back to test support, now she's going up. Now, in terms of this chart, to really get the full picture of why we are so bullish, watch our individual videos on this one, because the speculators are just so short the USD. The smart money is so long the USD that it points to move up to 2050. So if it gains traction above that candle there next week, only need to risk it to there, could see a massive rise. Got a big interest in this one, a reasonable size position, watch our full videos to get the big picture. Now, in terms of this one, I mentioned the knock is correlated with the euro, but it's probably the least correlated. This is heavily correlated. So if you're a euro bear, then you want to also sell the proxies. Okay, and what you get here again that sell off that uh, gave us our entry, yeah, the aggressive entries. We came in on the blue, vertical rise, stopped out on that red. Really good profit though. Down, we'll just wait again for some strength. We'll take it up. She goes. The proxies, yeah, th these sort of more minor proxies, the yeah, USD, Hungarian, Florida, they just move quicker than the euro. Uh, they, the euro really influences them and they go down fast. You can just check the euro, uh, sorry, euro huff chart. The euro has made gains on the huff. So obviously the USD has made big, bigger gains on the huff than it has on the euro. This one isn't the best one going forward though. I'm going to show you the best one in a moment, which I think looks a terrific trade in a moment, which is USD CZK. Um, commodity currency. NZD, just so extremely bearish of this. And uh, here we had a lot of resistance. Royal Bank of New Zealand said they might have to cut rates. Just follow her down. So 220 pips, yeah, not too much yet. But the rally is a sell. 
you see where my resistance levels are here and my stop and so forth. You know, focus on the big picture. You know, a lot of people could get distracted by these blues here or these blues here. They don't stick with the longer term view. This here is a target, yeah? That's only the short term target. The long term target is a little bit more, uh, let's say, ambitious, but I think we're going to get there in the coming weeks and months. Uh, why won't it show me a chart? Um, um, perhaps because I put an S rather than a. Z, uh, NZD, USD. She's rolling over, 20 week moving average, holding her, going down to 60, then 50. Longer term, of course. Dollar um, going up. Yeah, the US dollar holds the interest rate advantage here. Okay. And uh, what, what good news is coming from the commodity currencies? They can't rally in risk on. Okay, they're already rolling over. Commodity prices are going to fall with uh, slowing global growth. Dollar holds the interest rate advantage. We've got the possibility of risk off. All the commodity currencies are long-term sells. And yeah, I don't know if I said this earlier. If you get stopped out, it's fine. You can always get back in. Just keep the big picture in mind. We really like the look at that one. I'm going to show you this one because this is what the US dollar could do to a lot of currencies. This is another euro proxy. Um, the SEK negative rates on it and again there's the big sell-off we'll come in on the minimal confirmation up she comes we'll take our profit on that candle tail there she hits new multi-year highs okay she come back a bit but if we get back into this the target is open um because the us dollar certainly when these currencies with negative rates just gonna hammer them you know euro to strank and Unless we get safe haven flows, Swiss franc won't fall as hard as the euro in the sec. But negative rates against the dollar yield, going lower. Um, yeah, like I said, though, I think my favourite is USD CZK, which we'll go and take a look at. Um, I just need to get my menu back. Sorry, my page is not coming up as quick as I'd hoped. There it is, uh, USD CZK, let's make her a bit bigger. And it probably doesn't look that exciting on the daily chart. This is probably the most overvalued of all the Euro proxies. There's a sell-off, come in long, stopped ourselves out for a profit, come in long again, 22.77, so just here on that big blue. Now, to get the full context of this one, You've got to look at the monthly chart because it looks really good. There it is. Dollar is making headway to the upside. We're just sort of gaining upside traction now. Just to break out there above 23.15, up to 26. Yeah, we really like the look of this trade. Really good one. Okay, just one more pair to look at. USD are South African Rand. Um, the dollar really pushed up hard there. Uh, we took all of that move, actually. We did get stopped out, of course, uh, as we came through here. Um, we did try it long again here, got stopped out. Now back in at 13.94 as we based out around here. Going up, 15.50. Uh, we, sorry, monthly chart, probably 16. Yeah, 16. Okay, so they're the pairs that uh, we really like the look of. Um, and uh, you can mix it up a bit, you know, like, um, yeah, obviously we're very bearish of the euro. You could do that with the Swiss as a split trade. The commodity currencies, if you can't decide the best, you could just do all three as one trade. Um, going forward, I've got a feeling it could be the Aussie dollar that goes down the most. Uh, but really, I can't decide. I've got all three. Just treating them as one trade. In the emerging, uh, USD tries a tiny trade for us because of that volatility. But um, yeah, we've got the Czar and we've got the MXN as well. In the proxies, we like the CZK. Uh, I just feel that um, you know, the US dollar, you know, I, I like it when the, 
the market argues the dollar should go down. It's not really going down at all. I just think that argument about stock markets just makes total sense to me. And I am really looking for risk off. Yeah, if we get risk off, yeah, we've had relatively low volatility and a lot of traders become complacent in low volatility. When you've got low volatility, 50, 100 pips or whatever it might be, you get risk off in the stock market. That can go up to, you know, moves of a few hundred pips a day. So for me, the dollar low risk uh, long, okay? I'm not talking, I might have said it earlier, I'm not talking about know, day-to-day fluctuations, not interested in those at all. I'm focused on the longer term. We've done well over the last few weeks, um, seen our levels. Um, but I think, you know, weeks, months going forward, uh, we could do a uh, you know, lot better, hopefully. Yeah, so for me, um, it's simple logic behind what we're doing here. We're using simple technical analysis, nothing complicated, but we are you know, getting good results. Yeah, obviously not every trade's a winner. You get stopped out, you focus on the big picture, and uh, the big picture is dollar strength, and so far it's all been okay have last few weeks i'm hoping it's going to get a lot better so that is the video for today if you've got any yeah, questions or queries on yeah trading the us dollar long yeah please feel free to email me and of course you can follow us in the trades we like in the member center as well um we don't just like usd longs there's other longs we like as well but this usd long idea has got the main bulk of our money at the moment. Right, that is the video for today. Thanks very much for watching me as usual. Take care. Have a good day.